what was expected of you in this question was to derive the ice curve with the aid of diagrams, assuming that the interest rate decreases. Now, if you go to the study guide, you will see there we derive the ice curve by assuming that the interest rate increases. So in a certain way, all your variables will now change in the opposite direction. I'm very quickly going to show you how, what are the steps that you can use to derive the IS curve, which I'm going to plot in this diagram here. So we begin by saying that the interest rate declines. If the interest rate declines, then investment increases in the economy. If I put that on the diagram with the interest rate investment, we know there's a negative relationship. And let's assume the interest rate 10%. It then decreases to 8%. What we then see is that output will, uh, investment will increase, say from 100 to 150. Now, if investment increases in the economy, we're building more factories, creating more machines, then there's an increase in the demand for goods, and eventually, through the multiplier effect, there's an increase in the level of output. We're going to put this on the goods market diagram. This is your 45 degree line, demand for goods and output. This is our demand for goods function at the interest rate of 10%. And it gives us this equilibrium level of income one. The increase in investment when there's this decrease in the interest rate is, in this case, is 50. So this is represented by an upward shift of 50 of the demand for goods curve. So this is now the demand for goods at 8%. And we have a increase in the level of output. Now we're going to use this information to plot the IS curve. We're going to measure the interest rate, the level of output. Note that what is measured on this horizontal axis are the same for the two diagrams. That's why it's underneath one another. So what we do is to say at the 10% interest rate, the equilibrium level of income is income 1. So it gives us a point where the goods market is in equilibrium. If we decrease the interest rate to 8%, then we know the equilibrium income is income 2. Gives us a second point of the IS curve. Now we can generate number of points here by changing the interest rate to the demand for goods. But we take the shortcut and say, combining those we get a IS curve, showing us combinations of the interest rate and output where the goods market is in equilibrium.